Let's draw the Lewis structure for C2H2. This is dichloromethane. So the first thing we do with Lewis structures like dichloromethane, we count the total number of valence electrons. The periodic table can be useful when you do that. So we find carbon right here, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A, that has four valence electrons. Hydrogen, that's in group one. All of these elements have one valence electron. We have two hydrogen atoms. And then for chlorine over here in 17, sometimes called group 7A, that has seven valence electrons. We have two of those. So we have four plus two is six plus 14, 20 total valence electrons for the CH2Cl2 Lewis structure. We put the least electronegative element in the center, but remember that hydrogen always goes on the outside. So carbon is the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center, and then we'll put two hydrogens and two chlorines around it. Because we have a tetrahedral molecular geometry, it doesn't really matter how we organize the hydrogens and chlorines around that carbon. It'll all end up being the same thing. Next, we can put two electrons between atoms, a pair of electrons between atoms, to form the chemical bonds. It looks like this. So far, we've used eight valence electrons. We have 20 total valence electrons for the CH2Cl2 Lewis structure. Hydrogens only need two valence electrons, so they're good. Let's complete the octets around the chlorines. So at this point, we've used 20 valence electrons. We have octets on the chlorine, carbon, and then this chlorine down here. Each hydrogen has two. This is the Lewis structure for dichloromethane, CH2Cl2. If you wanted to look at the molecular geometry, we said it was tetrahedral. So that ends up looking like this here. Note there aren't lone pairs drawn around the chlorine here, and each line represents a single bond. So the molecular geometry would be tetrahedral. And note that again, it doesn't matter where we put the carbons and hydrogens. Right now, we have it like this here. But if we rotate it like this, We'll have the same orientation as we did in the Lewis structure we drew. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CH2Cl2 dichloromethane and the molecular geometry, which is tetrahedral. Thanks for watching.